Okay, and we're back. Just in time for uh, exams, I think. Got water in my uh, my glasses. Rinsed, I rinsed them off once I once I cleaned them off. I, I cleaned them in a really weird way. Everyone says to just grab like a tap, like a like a little cloth and just wipe it with that. But like I. I do like this thing with spray I spray it and then I rinse it with hot water and then I like put some soap on and then I rub the soap on it and then I wash it off and then I just basically rinse it and I just put it on like that because drying it off just gets it smudged. I don't know anyone else who does it that way. Either way, um uh that was a really weird segue to go on. Uh either way, we are about to start exams. So We've got our last night here where we can spend time with Mishima, Ihaya, Iwai, or Sojiro. We actually got we got our choice of four. Are there any that are gonna hit ten? You're gonna hit nine. Uh Curry Tips. Moderately restores SP to all allies at rank 9. Hmm. Can I call Kawakami and have her make coffee? Hey! Make sure you close up. We can have her do this for free every single day? Oh my god! Jesus! Every single day we can get a coffee from her now, for free. So I need to remember to do this every single night. Uh, we can't spend time with Sojiro now though. So there goes that idea. Um... I say spend time with Chihaya. Maybe once we get her to rank 10, we can do fortune's fate reading stuff for free. Uh, do we have a fortune persona though? We do. Okay. Um. Uh, can I get a affinity reading or do I have to wait do? until the, another day? Okay, I thought it was, uh, shall we do? I thought we could do it once during the afternoon and one at night. Um, oh well. So, I've made some more progress with the ADP case. Sit down and I can tell you all about it. Yes. Yes, please go ahead. The thing is... So, I got all of the members of the ADP together and gave them a big group apology. They didn't really believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like the members from the executive class are still brainwashed. I'm in talks with a lawyer right now, though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to give back all the money I've made from selling holy stones, too. The least I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this, South Son. Think of it not only as an apology, but as a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. Oh! Yes! So much money! Oh my god! Okay, so I'm so glad that I did this. Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. What? Yokara-san? What are you all doing here? The apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean, the chairman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. And none of it was um, made up. Um, For the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promise of a great future, the power of the holy stones, the need for donations, all lies. Doesn't it stra seem strange that he kept asking members for money, even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than anyone where those donations were ending up. Mm. Even I knew how horrible the ADP scheme was. That's why I had to come forward. No, that can't be true. 
You are. Are you the one who did this to our beautiful maiden? Uh, no. Listen to what the hell she's saying. Shut your mouth. Please stop this. He has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who sold you those rocks. If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be with me. But, Aiden, this can't be happening. No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, Maiden, cleanse us of our misery. If you leave us now, we will be fated to drown in sorrow. I'm, I'm hamming, I'm really hamming it up right now. Look, the only way you can change that is with your own convictions. Neither I nor one of those worthless stones will be able to help you. But, but then, how are we supposed to avoid our fated misery? No! A curse is upon us! Maiden, please! Oh, will you shut your traps? Y'all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Oh, God! She got so pissed, pissed she went Texan! She got so pissed she went full sh southerner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said that, but she got... She's gone full southerner on us now. Oh boy. Whether you're gonna be miserable or not, it's all on your own damn shoulders. You don't need some divine power mumbo jumbo to be changing your fate. Y'all got that strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't hold a candle to honest to goodness willpower. And heck, even if things are bad now, it'll all be fine so long as you keep your heads up. Oh, 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 I'm sorry about that. All this stress caused me to lapse into my country dialect. But I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if all you do is rely on others. Take me, for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster, but... I had the strength to reverse that fate. If you want to control your future, that's all you need. Strength. The only way forward is through the fortitude of your own heart. My heart? It might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by all those seminars and donations. I'm partially to blame for that. I'm here with but you. But that's why I need to show you the light now and help you push on. Maiden. No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm just Chihaya Mifune, the fortune teller who guides fate. <sighs> I wonder if Yokota-san and the others will be okay. I know how they feel, though. They want to cling on to the Holy Stones, just as I clung to my role as the maiden. All any of us ever wanted was to be happy, to avoid our fates. They can be changed. Right. I did it, so I'm sure Yokota-san and the others will be able to as well. No matter how many times I have to try, I will talk to them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I will be there to help them recover. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here, they revered me as the maiden. Even now, my heart continues to wander, yet you somehow saw the real me. <laughs> not the maiden, not a monster, just Chihaya. That's on. Thank you. And there's rank nine. All right. <laughs> By the way, that's on. Anyone told you you're a bit nosy? I mean, normally someone wouldn't think to involve themselves in such a strenuous ordeal. Um. So, um, there's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is Fortune telling the only reason you come to see me? It's not, is it? Um. Oh! Oh, what do I do here? Because neither of these are true! I mean, this is true, but not in a romantic way. I like spending time with you. Also, I like that sweet, sweet social link. I wish that was actually an option. Just, that would sound, why do you come here? Oh, some, some guy with a really long nose told me I get more powerful if I help people out. And so that's why I'm talking to you. I wish that was an option. 
Uh... Feels wrong to say this, but I don't want to date you, I think. I've already got my... Th I've already got three people picked out. Ty, Makoto, and, Ni and uh, Futaba. E if I even do Futaba, I'm not sure. And maybe Haru, depending on how her link seems to be going, and once I get to know her a bit better. But, like... I don't think I don't think there's room for you in here, even though I like you and I really like your portraits. They're really nice. I what like I liked your I liked I'm kind of just going with whose arcs I whose social links I like the most. Cause Kalakami wasn't that amazing, uh Who else oh Ons wasn't really that ama like really that remarkable. Makoto's was fun. Uh, Takemi's was... I actually really liked Takemi's Link. I really liked her entire character. You, not as much. But I did like your story. Oh, I see. Sorry, I suppose I was just feeling a bit self-conscious. But... but there's nothing better than knowing my readings help others. Please come have your fortune read as often as you like. After all, we'll forever be joined in our quest to oppose fate. Anyway, I should be going. I just Until got rejected. Goodbye. I either got rejected or this is one dense motherfucker. Either way, goodbye. Hi. Master Coffee. Is that Is that the co is that specific coffee that she makes or is that Master Coffee in the sense of it's really good coffee? I suppose we'll find out. Uh. Oh, time for exams. Oh, and all-nighters are the worst. I really should have started studying sooner. At least the school festival's soon. The thing I'm looking forward to most right now. Yeah, but are they still going to hold it? I might get cancelled. Don't say that. You're bumming me out before the exams. Things are bad enough as is. If they cancel the festival, the students will riot. And here we go. I'm gonna ace these exams. I hate tests. Did you hear those rumors? I wonder if they really are from our school. Really? No way. What if? Time for me to flunk exams. Pretty bad, huh? I Phantom Thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? Thought that they were gonna change that CEO's heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying that they killed Principal Kobayakawa too? Thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. Man, does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Ahem. Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Well, shall we begin? Origin of the word guillotine. The name of the one who proposed it. Ooh, we can do this! Is he an essay question? Looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Explain why the guillotine was used during the French Revolution. Who proposed the idea of the guillotine? It was, a. Uh... It was a doctor, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it was a doctor, I'm pretty sure. Didn't Persona 3 or 4 have a gay character, or at least a character who was struggling with gay thoughts? Yeah, that was Kanji, the best character in all of the series. That was Kanji, and his entire arc, his entire arc was basically him thinking he was, he was gay because he had a crush on someone who looked like a guy. He had a crush on Naoto, who actually turned out to be a girl all along, but he was still struggling with thoughts, and basically... I'm pretty sure he's he's actually bi, but I don't think they ever they you couldn't actually pursue him as a romance, even if he even if he did really like you. Yeah, I think he was named Joseph Ignace Skeleton. So from his perspective, what was the advantage of the guillotine? It could execute people quickly. Thousands of people executed during the revolution. Looks like they needed a method of execution that was quick and impartial. Yep. Ahem. 
There's the first day of exams done. Yeah, like, Kanji was uh, a really good character. Ka like, Persona 4 touched on those theme like, identity themes pretty well. Because that, that was more so the theme about the game. The theme of Persona 4 was discovering being true to yourself. In a, in, at least in a way that was hey. the, that was the the theme. Embracing the bad parts of yourself or the parts you didn't like and at least accepting them as something that's part of you. Still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? You know they're murderers, right? Doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. I wonder if Akechi Kun has been right all along. So admirable, sticking to his guns even though so many people were against him. Now everyone. Are we gonna get a little bit every single day about how much the Phantom Thieves suck now? Now everyone. Which of the following statements but this ball is true? Is that, no? Regular polyhedron, hedron. black to white ratio is one to two. I don't think that's the case. I think it's one to three. Thirty-two faces seems about right. Ooh, we can do this. What is the meaning of robota? The Czech word that is the root word of robot, slave labor. And their, our approval rating is just zero, pretty much. It's gonna drop more and more. Hey, you! And the thieves have got to be students here, right? I mean, they killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a phantom thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. Crap, you think so? I have to pick, so I should just put it online just in case. Hope the cops catch him. Yep. Basically causing complete chaos. Okay, Ruining well, the country so that you started. can come back and build it up the way you want. That seems like the, what the SIU is aiming for here. Maybe anyway, we got our final day of exams. What is the English name for the phenomenon where it feels like your cell phone is vibrating? Phantom Vibration Syndrome. Yeah, I think, yeah. Ooh, we can do this. Which of the following government organizations do the cor Cormorant Fishermen of Nagaragawa belong to? I don't know. Not the local government. I have no idea what the MEXT is. This one seems a little familiar and none of the above. Let's go with this. Ooh, we can do this. Okay. We're gonna get some more story stuff probably. Last day of exams. Could be a problem for you. This has been so easy, I might start yawning. <laughs> yeah, we ace this exam. Uh, hey! Police are here again? Seems like it's for real this time. Apparently one of our students is a phantom thief. Seriously? I the same thing online. Apparently public security is already on the move. Wait, what? Someone here is going to be arrested? It's me. Something I want to talk to everyone about. I'll be at the hideout. I mean, our place. Is someone getting arrested? Shit. None of us, though, because that would be too, uh... That would be too much of a subplot. Probably not going to be anyone from any of our social links, either. I received word from Futaba-chan about our upcoming meeting. There's still some time until we meet, though, so I'm going to go take care of my flowers first. See you later. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna go help her out. What should we do? Uh, 
How troubling. You want some help? Oh, Travis Coon, have you come up here to assist me? You, um, heard that, didn't you? I'm not worried about the garden, in case you were wondering. It's just, so much has happened to me lately. Any way I can help? <sighs> well, perhaps I could share this with you. I mean, it would be nice to have someone who is aware of my current situation in life. Um. The source of my worries is my father's company. Dealing with the aftermath has been difficult. Given how unexpected the accident was, my father didn't have a will. All of his stocks transferred to me. Which means suddenly, I'm the biggest shareholder in a company of over 1,000 employees. But I don't know the first thing about business direction or fund management. Yes. Yes, it's quite hard to fathom. I may be the president's daughter, but I never anticipated I'd end up involved in company matters. Because of that, I've been meeting with all the various officers and lawyers my father employed lately. They've been giving me advice on all the things I'm not entirely sure about. Assets, stocks... Um. It's clear some people only want to get on my good side, though. I don't know who I can trust. They try to sound comforting by saying things like, don't worry or leave it to me, but... It feels like they're really only being nice so they can get their hands on my bank account. I... I never realized I could be this distrustful of other people. Ah, I'm sorry for ranting on about this matter. I feel as though doing so has helped me calm down a bit, though. Only people I've been consulted up to this uh, only people I've consulted up to this point have been employees. But I think what I really needed was someone closer to my age, closer to my own viewpoint. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, could we speak about this again some other time? In return, I'll... Hmm. Um. What can I do to help you? I don't have any unique talents. How about this? To be honest. You know, gardening. I'm actually quite skilled at this. A few years ago, I even managed to grow a tropical food on the balcony at my house. To be honest, this is what I do when I'm alone to take my mind off of everything that's happened. I stored some vegetables in the refrigerator down in the home economics room. You still have some time, yes? Would you mind waiting here a moment? What's going on? Is she gonna give us fruit as thanks? Um. I grew these right here in the very planters and harvested them myself not too long ago. There's not much consistency to their colors or shapes, but... <laughs> You'll find out once you eat them. <laughs> Just kidding. Mostly normal things like tomatoes and zucchini. They're definitely unique though. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask of you. I'd like to get Sakura-san's opinion on my vegetables. Futaba or Sojiro? You think I could bring my next harvest over to your cafe? Sojiro? Really? Really, I'm sure Sakura-san would give me an honest opinion. I'll make sure this next harvest is particularly good. Now, shall we go? Okay, I guess that was just build up to a social link that'll happen at some point. Just setting the setting the groundwork for it. Congrats on surviving midterms. You know who didn't survive midterms uh, though? Oh, Kumara. Hey. No, I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet now. Again? It's so damn loud! More importantly, what's this you want to talk about? You said that something was on your mind before, but were you able to figure out what it was? The Medjet that I banned wasn't the real one. Huh? Aren't you the real one, though? Oh, uh... The guy who called himself Medjet after me isn't the one from the other day. What do you mean? 
The code written by that guy the other day is different from any of the past Medjet. Code written by guy from the other day? What code? I can't remember. And that means... Yeah, sorry Futaba, I am everyone else in this scene right now. A code is like your fingerprints. No matter how you try to disguise it, your own quirks appear in it. The one from the other day was all cut and pasted with no consistency. No skill at all. But aren't there multiple people across the world that are part of Medjet? Couldn't it have been done by someone that joined recently? How do I put it? That code was so not done by anyone interested in cracking. At all. At the very least, there's no way it was an official Medjet oh, member. it was planted. So someone used the Medjet name to provoke the Phantom Thieves? For what purpose? Could they have been doing it for fun? It was around the time our group started getting popular, so maybe they wanted in on the hype. No, they based what they did is they pushed the Phantom Thieves to become national heroes. So that when they fell from grace, whoever staged this all could sweep in and do what do whatever they're planning on doing. Wait a moment. What if it's the other way around? Hmm? Perhaps they use the Medjed name to make the Phantom Thieves known. What? That makes no sense! I actually thought the same as Makoto. Why is that? Know how I just said that code is like fingerprints? I found those same fingerprints somewhere completely different. Where's that? The Phantom Aficionado website. Wait, what? Mishima? There were traces of it being illegally tampered with from the outside. Oh wait, no, no, someone else someone also hacked into the fan site, not Mishima. For real? For summer vacation, the access counter was made to be much higher than the actual number. Same with the rankings, particularly the time when President Okumura ranked first. So then, the one who provoked the group and the one who tampered with the site are the same person? So someone basically provoked the Phantom Thieves into attacking, into dealing with Medjid, then faked their popularity afterwards to make it look like there's a lot more popularity than there actually was in order to get the public into a fear, into a, uh, just to swing the public up in this elaborate hoax all so that they could do whatever they wanted to do. This is really complex. I think I'm starting to see the big picture. Both Medjed's provocation and the tampering of the website brought attention to us as a result. On top of that, our reason for targeting Okumura was influenced by the public and the rankings. The perfect timing and the perfect target. If both of those had been set up, it would all make sense. So the culprit was planning to put the blame on us from the start? Yeah, they're they're realizing that this is all one ruse. No way. This is all hypothetical. We lack any hard evidence. But if all your deductions happen to be correct, that would mean we've been playing right into their hand for the past two months or so. We gotta be overthinking things. No, we I mean, don't. We're talking both the rankings and Medjed. Everyone made a big deal about it. If this was all set up, then... What kind of guy did we make an enemy of? There's no point in getting anxious over speculation. Regardless, we'll be falsely charged at this rate, and with murder. We must overcome this. But we don't even know who we're up against. Hey, you think we're falling into another trap, even at this very moment? Yeah, this doesn't mean that we've lost yet. Even if this is the actions of a meticulous enemy, we'll just have to get back at them. We need to find clues, no matter what. Oh boy. Me? I was told you recommended this reassignment yourself, sir. Why would you choose someone as inexperienced as myself? When the case of the Shujin Principle was ruled a suicide, you thought to reopen it. 
And you proved its connection to the Phantom Thieves. This is based primarily on that achievement. The actual dial, like, basically he's saying we can manipulate you easily and you, you fall for our stuff and you're a pawn, you're a nice pawn pretty much. That's what's going on here. I'm honored, sir. The Phantom Thieves issue is now a national crisis. Expectations are exceedingly high for us public prosecutors, as we are the executors of justice. Personnel and planning will be up to you on this case. You will also have the police under your command. I'd like you to oversee this operation. <sighs> You've yet to give an answer. Will you accept the task of eradicating the Phantom Thieves? I will give it everything I have. We'll have to prepare a higher position for you as well in the event that you succeed. I don't wish to apply oh. pressure on you, but I assume your odds of success oh. are high. Oh, fuck you. We're gonna dangle this promotion in front of you as long as you continue to be a good scapegoat for us. Naturally, failure to accomplish this task is unacceptable. Do you understand? Of course. I will live up to your expectations no matter what it takes. That is all, then. I expect good results from you. I'm home. Hi, sis. Should I warm up dinner for you? No, it's okay. How about a bath? No need. I just came home to get a change of clothes. Are you going to stay at work then? I've been entrusted with a very important task. You look awful though. Aren't you tired? As an adult, there will be times when you will accept an assignment for which failure is not tolerated. It's all over for me if I can't win this. Still, if you were to collapse from exhaustion... This is my one chance to get a promotion. I heard detectives have been coming to your school. That must make it hard to focus on your studies. Don't worry, though. It will all be over soon. What do you mean? I'm going to catch the Phantom Thieves myself. Is that the important task you mentioned? It's none of your concern. Oh my god. Sis has her sights set on the Phantom Thieves, and on Shujin Academy in particular. <sighs> this is bad. I need to let everyone know. Oh, here we go. The next target. Things have become somewhat troublesome, everyone. Just try to stay calm. What's wrong? Sis told me she has been entrusted with an important task regarding the Phantom Thieves. That means... Yes, the SIU must surely be on the move at this point. Wait, weren't they already investigating us, though? The police were doing so in secret. This operation is on a much different scale. Hold on a sec. What's this SIU thing anyways? Special Investigations Unit, an elite team that deals with huge cases like government scandals. I have heard that name on the news. They make headlines often. The real insane part is, they haven't lost a case against a suspect in like 50 years. If they come after you, you're screwed. They're the best investigation force in Japan. Are we going to be arrested? Hmm, doesn't this countermeasure seem somewhat extreme? Right or wrong, I think we're just way too famous at this point. As this is a country governed by law, they can't afford to ignore us for any longer. We may be the Phantom Thieves, but this is miserable. Probably have a pretty narrow suspect profile by now, too. Hey, don't scare us like that! Okay, though, they don't have any evidence. Yes, I expect they're frantically searching for some as we speak. No way they're gonna find anything, though. Only a matter of time. We have to hurry and do something about this. Everything's going to be fine. Unless they know about the metaverse, there's no way they'll get any info on us. Mm. 
I should write something. Uh, I'm surprised they aren't connecting the dots a little bit more right now. Because, like, we know... Well, we know there's a someone... Um, uh, what's the word? We know someone set this whole thing up, set up the Medjid incident, set up the Okumura incident, the fallout, Damn, all that things. stuff. We know they're being investigated by the special... Special Investigations Unit. Conveniently, like, very shortly after all this stuff has happened, and they've able, they're able to narrow it down despite not having any evidence. They feel like they're might, they might be able to connect things a little bit more than they can right now, but I'm not sure. Haven't they found the Phantom Thieves yet? The government and the police are useless. Are they even trying? Wish they wouldn't spend tax dollars to sit on their asses. Mysterious group of murderers and inept government. The world coming to these days. <sighs> Everyone's talking trash about us. Yep. Goodbye to the Phantom Thieves name. Police are here again? How many times has this been now? School has gotten famous. Yeah, in a bad way. Oh. Hey. They were there today. They were there. They were there to do today. Bleh. They were there today too, right? Yeah, who do those damn cops think they are? They can't just stare us all down like that. Maybe the rumors are true. Maybe there's a phantom thief at our school. When are we gonna get our exam results? Okay, Okay, down. listen up. At least they're here at the school, so be sure not to get in their way. Oh, and for various reasons, the school festival got moved to the 25th. There was talk of cancelling it, but we couldn't just do that. I'm sure the preparations will be rough, but don't push yourself too hard. Really? On a weekday? What kind of reasons are there? All the stuff about the principal in Kamoshida this year, I guess it can't be helped. I wonder what Kawakami thinks about this, because she knows we're a phantom thief. I wonder what she thinks about the whole Okumura dying thing. Apparently the police are going to be interrogating all of the students here. Seriously? Police are at Shujin? They haven't come to my school. It seems they're calling students individually out of class to speak with them. Wait, does that mean we're gonna get called too? Second years will start in the afternoon. Make sure you prepare yourselves mentally for this. They've gotta be looking for the culprit, right? Who knows? Be careful guys, you should probably try to not say much. They'll see through any lies you try and make. I know. In any case, don't tell them anything unnecessary. Ooh, is it gonna be a tense scene? Ooh. Well then, next up is Takamaki-san and... You two will go together. Huh? Why together? Why? They'll probably have one of you wait outside. That's how they've been doing it so far. Oh, yeah, right. Those are the instructions the detectives gave us. Just don't say more than is necessary and try and get it over with quick. Take a seat. We're sorry to take your time. This will be over quick. Let's see. Ah, yes. You're the one currently under probation. It says here you had a dispute with Mr. Kamashita. You're more hot-blooded than you look. You spend time with quite an interesting group. Yusuke Kitagawa and Haru Okumura? The more friends, the better, right? I'm sorry to have taken your time. You're free to go now. Oh, I almost forgot. There's just one more thing I have to ask you. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are associated with this school? Don't worry. We're here to keep all of you safe, okay? Thank you for your time. Your responses will serve as great reference material. Takamaki-san is next. Could you ask her to come in?
What was the point of that scene? Are they gonna pull our answers from that later on and use that? Because that would be really I cool. I so nervous. I almost stuttered a few times. I thought I was used to police questioning by now, too. It seems we were all asked the same questions. That's how they get you. They do that on purpose, then wait for someone to slip up. I hope you didn't. It was probably fine. Oh, I would have been done for if they saw how sweaty my hands were, though. To think my name would come up as well. Sounds like we can't take the police lightly, either. Hey, didn't you think that detective guy was scary? Not to me. He looked like someone who's dealt with dangerous criminals. I'm sorry for all of this. It's because of my sister. That's not true, Mako-chan. It's not as though I hadn't predicted this would happen. And now that it's become reality, I'm unsure of what to do. We need to make sure we don't draw suspicion and work to clear our names. Right? Right. It ain't your fault, Makoto. I'm gonna try to see how far along this investigation really is. I'm worried about the police too, but as of now, anyone in this city could be a mole. They were so popular too. Haru, can I ask you to search your father's belongings for clues about a possible culprit? I... I know it may be tough on you. No, it's okay. Now isn't the time for me to look away. As for everyone else, you need to be cautious of how you spend your time at school. So, I've decided to have you three second years join me on the school festival executive committee. Hey, we're gonna get this group together. The, the, the group that is under a lot of suspicion is gonna all get together and do something that would not raise suspicion. Don't you think that's suspicious? Why? It will allow us to gather without drawing suspicion. Plus, trying to blend in will only do the opposite. Ah, uh, fine. I agree. The more time I have to kill, the more time I'll spend worrying about all this stuff. No matter what happens, I don't want to regret my decisions. Don't jinx it! It would be no surprise if they came directly to our homes for questioning. They showed up at your school after all. I should remain cautious. For now, the best option is to stay on the defensive. But we won't make progress at this rate. Let's try and figure out who the real culprit is somehow, okay? Of course. <laughs> okay. I wish we could go out at night. Like, on our nights hey. where we're tired, where we're going to sleep for the oh, day, I wish we could just call Kawakami. Because, like, there are so many nights where it's just like, oh, we can't do anything today. Just, just go to sleep. Okay. Yes. I have another suggestion. Call for the arrest of the Phantom Thieves, then mobilize the police. The rest will go as you mentioned. <laughs> Still, I'm truly amazed at the atrocious methods you come up with. Huh? What was that scene about? Really short. What kind of people the culprits are? Probably some idiots with a misguided sense of justice. Look, can they just arrest those guys already? Special Investigations is on it. I'm sure they'll be caught soon. What kind of people are they? I want to see what they look like. Oh, uh, what's going on? Totally froze up when the cops talked to me. I bet they consider me a suspect now. How much longer are they gonna do this? Should be busy preparing for the school festival right now. Why the school decide to have the festival so late anyway? I mean, changing the date just because our school's all over the news? Moving it to next Tuesday only makes more work for us. 
Won't be able to invite friends from other schools now that we're holding the festival on a weekday. Also an inconvenience on anyone we already invited. What about the post-festival party? Will there be enough people for the student sharing special? <sighs> it's gonna be a real weird festival with morale so low. Speaking of the annoying media, we've been getting phone calls in the faculty office. The absurdity of it all. Who exactly are the Phantom Thieves? That's it, what we want to know. We really have no clue what method they're using. Killing someone without directly interacting with them is like magic. Speaking of magic, did you know that there's magic in math too? A magic square. It's a square in which adding up the numbers in any row, column, or diagonal gives you the same total. Setsan, please look at this. What number should be in the middle of this square in order to make it a magic number? Uh... This is just Sudoku, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just Sudoku. Okay, so we got... We've got 4, 9, 7, 6, and 8. I don't want to use the network for this because I like solving things like this. Okay, so we've got... Let's see. We need a number that goes in the top right. That'll make the, the top line and the right line have the same total. So we got 13 on the top line. And 13 on... Oh, we got 13 on both. Okay. So that means that, that any number can go there. Which... Sucks. Uh... Though, what numbers do we got? We got two? Three? I think this could be eight, three, two. Yeah, I think this is three. That's incorrect. Ah! It was five, wasn't it? Answer is five. Four by four square has 880 possibilities. In a five by five, there are more than 200 million. I knew he wouldn't get it right. Oh, wow. Even the teachers are like, these phantom thieves are fucking idiots. Well, I screwed that one up. Oh well. What are we gonna do at the school festival's exec committee? I'll need some help with the questionnaires. What questionnaires? The ones regarding who people want to see as the guest of honor. Oh, right, that thing they do every year. I mean, how those lame guests come to do a panel, right? Festival's dates were changed because of the situation. We need to hurry and tally the results. Come to the student council room when cl once classes are over. <sighs> it's so damn boring. Don't be like that. It's so we can meet up without standing out. Let's do what we can at the moment. Working, I'm making sure to work hard at home, but you do that all the time. I can look stuff up. So did you find anything, Haru? About that. No good, huh? I'm sorry. It'll arouse suspicion if I ask too many detailed questions. No worries. I'll manage on my end somehow. We're counting on you. I can't go, but message me if anything happens. I will leave this to you guys. My apologies, but I cannot be of much help in this situation. And so, after school culture festival prep stuff happens, I wonder who the guest of honor is gonna be. Damn it. We don't have time to be doing crap like this. You don't need to keep mentioning it. We're doing this to keep suspicions off of us, remember? Goro Akechi. This one too, Akechi. They're mostly the same over here as well. Everyone's so eloquent when they can be anonymous. 
It's like they never accepted us to begin with. It would be nice if you did some work too, Ryuji-kun. You came to help us count these, right? Come on, leader. Can you tell him too? We're gathering information too. You know, like, uh, online and stuff. I guess that's one way of saying it. Whoa, look here. This ain't good. Criminal profiling? The acts of thievery committed by the Phantom Thieves are mere fakes. And their true goal is murder? Every heart they changed before Okumura was just a warm-up? Uh, so now they're accusing us of being a bunch of killers. God, this is so effing stupid! Damn it! We have the results. First place is Goro Akechi. What? Akechi? What are you so surprised for? We've been mentioning him this whole time. <laughs> Seriously? Not some singer or an idol? It's because of us that his popularity has skyrocketed. We're the ones counting the results. Can't we just make him up? We don't have to get him. People will figure that out. He won by a landslide. I knew people would vote for him, but this is way more votes than I was expecting. It would be best for us to avoid inviting such a clear danger upon ourselves. I'd like a little more time to think about who to ask. That reminds me. How was Futaba-chan doing? She seemed like she was looking into something on her own. Has she told you anything? Yeah, I don't know what Futaba's looking into right now. I can't... Probably digging through all those files that they got from Nijima Sai's computer. We're not gonna get arrested because the police tracked her down, right? That's the last thing we need now. Even one clue would work wonders for us. We should let her continue with her own investigation. I hope she finds something. The guest of honor will be main character's mom. Yeah. Hey. Oh, wait, what's going on here? In response to the police identifying the Phantom Thieves as primary suspects, Goro Akechi had this to say. Even though my opinion has been met with criticism, I've held fast that the Phantom Thieves are not just. However, I believe the recent series of suspicious deaths is unrelated to their actions. W what? Did I hear you correctly? But Akechi-san, you were the first to caution everyone about the Phantom Thieves. Were you not? This doesn't change the fact that they are indeed a dangerous group. That said, I would like to express that immediately linking them to this case is far too hasty. There are still many questions to be answered here. It feels as though there is more to this. After this conference, Akechi-san announced he will be limiting his media appearances and... I wonder why the sudden change. Super stuck on my Okumura investigation. Seriously? Even you're having trouble with this shit? What should we do? Let's meet up and discuss our options as soon as possible. Tomorrow? Earlier the better, right? Though I still haven't come up with anything myself. That two heads are better than one, so I can only imagine what eight heads may produce. That's a good way of thinking. Totally an Inari idea. Okay, let's do everything we can right now. Even if it means crossing some dangerous bridges. Considering how far we've come, we can't be particular about our methodology. What are you staring at your phone like that for? Oh, are you going through a breakup? Two breakups right now, actually. trying to show off. Don't get cocky, kid. By the way, you haven't been causing any trouble, have you? I heard the police showed up at your school. As long as you're not getting involved. <sighs> well, fine. I think, yeah, Sojiro's got his suspicions now. Kawakami. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. You're gonna make me some coffee. Hmm. 
we're gonna go, uh, I guess we'll go spend time with EY. We have a hanged man persona. I think we do. Yeah, we do. Let's go do this. <sighs> Wait, whoops. I don't want to shop okay. right now. I mean, I guess I sh could should quick. Be grateful. And sell my uh, my armor that I don't need anyway. We've got a ton of stuff that we don't that need. Time of year when schools hold their athletic meets, huh? Those starting pistols aren't ours, you know. We don't sell them here. I guess that's fine. We should be grateful. 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 Here we go. Uh, Come again. I'm here to spend time Good with sauce. you. I want to work. What are we? What rank are we at? <laughs> we're at six. Okay, we're gonna hit seven this time. Good. Yeah. One to the back. Actually. Listen up, kid. I figured out Suda's weakness. While you and Kara were over at that diner, I ended up getting info from a reliable source of mine. Turns out I guessed right. Suda was the one on the other end of that Hong Kong Mafia deal. Apparently you paid them off for a huge arsenal of guns. This is where <laughs> things start getting interesting, though. He was smuggling all that shit in. Why would he come to me asking for modified guns? I mean, don't something about that seem off to you? Yeah, absolutely. He's already selling guns, but he's coming- he's buying guns, but he's coming to you for stuff. Right? Piece of shit's trying to lord his position over me. He ain't got shit now. What I'm really saying is, I don't think those Hong Kong guys ever del delivered on their end of the deal. Probably just took his money and flat out stiffed him on the guns. Masa told me something real weird back when you and Karu were over at the diner, though. Apparently the clan's been treating that Hong Kong transaction like some kind of massive business success. I mean, Suda's been lying to him this whole time. Now he's trying to use me to cover up his mistake. Yep, everyone's always known he's one sneaky son of a bitch. No matter now, though. Everything's gonna change once I tell the clan what's up. Suda's not gonna be able to keep intimidating me anymore. I'll make sure Kaur won't get labeled like I was. The irregular, respectable adult. Something I could never even dream of. Gonna have to talk to Suda himself, though. Gotta follow the Yakuza code. Yo. Hey, I got a favor to ask you. If anything happens to me, take care of Kaur, okay? Okay? Probably. I know he'd be able to get rid of me with no problem. Got a witness there, but I've got to put an end to this. Besides, nobody would want to. Wait a sec. I've got you. That's right. I want you to come talk to Suda with me. I'm not going to dare lay a finger on a civilian kid. Cause way too many complications for him. If you come as my witness, things will be miles safer. Good. All right then, it's settled. Oh, and let me think of a reward. Gotta thank you for the info and for being my witness. <laughs> How about I work even harder on that special menu? Should be good for you, yeah? Oh. Rank 7, Expert Customization. Well, I'll hit you up when it's time. Let's do this, kid. Later. Hi. There we go, there's our coffee. Which reminds me, I actually need to see um, uh, how much SP that actually restores. Almost time for the culture festival. What's that detective think he's doing? He's just trying to get popular, isn't he? He wants to stand out. 
Hurry up and arrest the Phantom Thieves already. Seems like he knows something. And he found out some real juicy secret. Makoto, has Nijima-san told you anything about the investigation? Well, Sis actually stopped mentioning anything about work in front of me. It's possible I made some sort of mistake. Regardless, I thought over the matter of who we're going to invite for our school festival. I'm considering asking a Kechikun. For real? Weren't you talking about how you didn't want to draw danger to us or whatever? I understand this is dangerous, but without a powerful source of intel, we won't be able to win against the police network, and I can no longer rely on my sister for information. Wait, is this because of Akechi-kun's police connections? You're going to use him as your powerful source of intel? Bold move. I'm surprised to hear that suggestion coming from you, Makoto. Did you see his press conference yesterday? One of his comments defending the Phantom Thieves stood out to me. There is more to this. I think he said that knowing for certain that the Phantom Thieves would be watching. Still, there will be so many other students at the school festival. What are the odds of success? It's a gamble, and the odds are less than favorable. But we can no longer afford to hesitate. What are your thoughts? Should we invite a Kechikun? In that case, I'll do it. Is everyone else okay with that? I'm good. Whatever he says has got to be more reliable than what I've been able to come up with. They're falling right into his trap. Or because he they they do know he's working with the SIU, don't they? He, like we we know he's working with the SIU. So there's no way he's gonna. I don't know. Yeah, maybe they don't know. I think they just know that he's a detective right now. It would be reassuring to gain him as an ally rather than simply a source of information. Now, hold on. How are we even gonna get in touch with him? It's not like we got his contact info. We have all the data from the PC of a public prosecutor. Finding his phone number was a no-brainer. Damn, you're real impressive. But then, wouldn't he wonder how we acquired his number? I'll just say my sister had it. That isn't even technically a lie. Can you send me the number, Futaba? I'll contact him right away. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm really not big Why? on the deal. Hey, we hacked we hacked into the computers and found your number, and now we're gonna get in touch with you and And we're gonna try and get you on our side as an ally of the Phantom. We're gonna do a billion illegal things and then hope you join our side. Oh my now god. Now's no time to be petty. Just think of him as a source of intel. Nothing more. I have a response already. He says, let me think about it. Wait a sec. Didn't he say he wasn't going to do any more stuff for the media? That's likely why he's so hesitant. What are we going to do if he turns us down? I'll keep trying. Maybe frustrating, but he's all we have at the moment. We need him to do it, no matter what. We're counting on you, Makoto. Have thought we'd end up relying on a catchy. We go down? Oh, we can go down. Cool. Um, so what does this master coffee do? 100. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, what do we have available? We got Sojiro ranking up, we got Chihaya ranking up to 10, we got EY, Mishima. I think we're gonna get Chihaya out of the way. We're gonna have hey. Kawakami make another coffee. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. 
Because the more of those we get, the better. And we'll go wrap up the fortune link. I think, yeah, Futaba should know that all this stuff can be traced. I think, I think she's doing what she can on her own end to make sure that it can't be traced. But she's probably not going to be able to do enough. Even though I don't, I don't think they're actually able to trace the, the conversations because they don't have a reason to suspect their conversations yet. Um, something I'd like to ask you. Please have a seat. Let's yes. hang out. Let's hit rank 10 here. The members seem to be doing well now. I do a phone consultation with them from time to time, and they're all very cheerful. From time to time? The last time we talked to them was like three days ago. I would hardly say there's enough time has passed for it to be a from time to time occurrence. That goes for my fortune teller customers as well. I've been getting thanked a lot more lately, even by the people who get bad fortunes. Particularly when I tell them they can alter their fate. True. That's yeah. Really true. All I used to say before was that they were going to face misfortune. I had a best friend in the town I used to live in. She was the first person I read a fortune for. When she started avoiding me, I read the fortune of our fate. It was a terrible result. But I prayed that it would somehow work out. However, that never happened. That's when I started to believe that fate couldn't be changed. No surprise though, right? Because I didn't take action on my part to try and change it. I haven't talked to her in years. Maybe I'll try contacting her sometime. Yeah, you're right. Oh, could this be? Conviction is amazing. Her feet and mine are connected. I will no longer be swayed by names like Monster or Maiden. I am simply a fortune teller who provides advice to people with broken spirits so that they will have conviction and face their future without getting pushed around by fate. That's the fate I've chosen for myself. Yes. Now, it's your turn to speak. What would your conviction be as a phantom thief? Sorry. Oh no! I used fortune telling to find out your true identity. Oh no! Yet another social link knows about our true identity at this point. Whatever will we do? Also, this is conveniently coming. We're conveniently finding out that you're a phantom thief after it's come to light that you probably killed people. And yet, I don't seem to give a single shit about that. couldn't help but think that you had something to do with the chairman's confession. Then I discovered that you're the trickster who causes a sensation in the world. It was the same card as the figure who helped me take down the chairman. <laughs> it finally struck home for me. <laughs> I got you good, didn't I? But I don't care what your true identity is. As long as you're around, I can always be my true self. Yeah, literally every single social link. Like I said it last time, if it was only like a couple of them, when it makes sense, but every single social link that involves you going into mementos ends with them finding out who you really are. It could have, like, they could have done this so much better by just, like, oh, saying, hey, maybe the Phantom Thieves will take care of it if I post this information on the site, and then they do. There's no connection to yourself, and it focuses more on the character's growth at the end instead of, holy shit, you're a Phantom Thief, but I don't care because you helped me out and you're so awesome. So, it's fine. Only... the fate of the Phantom Thieves is rather unclear. The Arcana is set in a tricky position. You can almost say it's facing both heaven and hell. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like it. I'm 
sorry. I really can't read this sequence. However, I'll be by your side. As the fortune teller who changes fates, I will guide you so you can avoid misfortune. Please guide me right now then. We desperately need help. Please help us. <laughs> Please. Please save me from the hell that's going on right now. I bow. I bow. Ultimate Arcana of Fortune. Special Fate reading. Preview of all abilities for a confidant of your choice. Right. Even though that's not going to be useful at all. Right. Lakshmi. Fortune Arcana. Maxed out. Still, what a strange sequence the cards were in when I read the fortune about your true identity. Several cards with strong personalities gathered around the trickster. It's quite improbable. It was almost as if it were trying to connect them together. You either have amazing charisma, or you're a trouble magnet. Or both. <laughs> the verification tests are over, but don't forget about me, okay? Please, visit again sometime. Goodbye! Uh. Hi. There's another coffee. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Uh, you hear who we're getting for our guests this year? Oh, you mean a catchy, right? Kind of saw that coming. Everyone I know voted for him. Didn't he say he wasn't going to make any more appearances, though? Why do you agree to come here? Probably has to do with the Phantom Thieves. Wasn't a catchy going around saying how evil they were before? Oh, yeah, that proves they're connected to our school somehow, then. Maybe he'll tell us some stuff about the case. No way am I going to miss this panel this year. Mm. They just say whatever they want with no thought. But for now, we'll just need to endure it, at least until we can get some more intel. Okay, class, let's School get started. School festivals tomorrow. Have you made all your preparations? I'm the advisor for the ESS, so I'll be busy helping them today. ESS stands for English Study Society, by the way. We need to advertise that Shujin's a school that provides an education you can use anywhere in the world. Hey, Mr. South. There are tons of three-letter acronyms like ESS in the world. I need an answer. Can you tell me what the S in SOS means? it mean? I don't think it means any of these. That's correct. Correct. SOS is often said to mean save our ship. Save our souls is another interpretation too. But in reality, it's not an acronym of anything. Just the simplest thing you can send in Morse code in an emergency. Oh, wait, no. If you haven't finished preparing for the festival, though, it's too late to send an SOS. Nice going. All right. School festival isn't just a time for you students to goof off. It's an important event where we invite prospective students, PTA members, and the like to attend. This time, we have a catchy sign for a panel. There'll be twice as many guests, even though it's a weekday. I'll have to spend twice as much time on my makeup tomorrow, too. Be on your best behavior, got it? So I guess school festival's gonna be soon. Uh... Oh, right. Exams. Damn, I'm dead. Top of the class. And we get some charm. 
All right. And a trophy that we can't do anything with. We can't even get a screenshot. Any word from Akechi? Nothing. But tomorrow is the start of the school festival. Will this be okay? Akechi kun declines our offer. We won't have a guest. Huh? That's what you're worried about? I appreciate the concern, but it'll be fine. I just need to get Akechi kun to agree to this somehow. Yep. What's that bastard up to anyway? Hasn't done anything since he said he was going to go into hiding. I'm not sure. I'll try explaining the circumstances surrounding the school festival to him again. Hopefully you can give me a response by the end of the day. I'll let you know if I make any progress on that front. Hey, South. Pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Charm just for moving out of the way of that. Oh, hello. Welcome home. <laughs> I need to. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> You're back awfully late. business been for you lately <laughs> take a look around is the Nijima lady doing well unfortunately we haven't seen each other lately we had a difference of opinion what are your thoughts representative Shido it doesn't surprise me that people say our country is lethargic we've let these phantom thieves run amok Shido we know we finally have your name. And you were the guy that Oyo's link was talking about. And because they've targeted only prominent figures, our government leaders have been hesitant to act. I apologize for any concern they may have caused. And we'll henceforth search for an apt countermeasure. That politician's really honorable. I like how quick he says he's gonna do everything. This is an important undertaking, and one I intend to confront with every asset available to me. The selfish criminals enacting this social reform are in fact the ones most deserving of reformation. Answering to the interests of the people as hastily as possible is my natural duty as a politician. Man, this guy is admirable. He's just got this random customer here who's like, this guy is awesome. I'm gonna provide many reasons just by being a... <sighs> Basically what I'm getting at is it obvious this guy is evil in some way. Rampant political scandals. Thieves on the loose. As sad as it is, this is the state of our nation. We must resolve this problem. And I assure the people of this noble country that I will do just that. I feel I've met that man somewhere before, no shit. He was the guy we met after we did a Matarame's thing. Or was it after we did Kamoshida's? What are you standing there staring off into space for? You're creeping me out. Standing here is my job. That politician is honest and carries an overwhelming amount of charisma. It feels like a trustworthy leader for Japan has finally come forth. Charisma! That charisma! Don't you think, boss? Sorry, wasn't listening. Criminals, hmm? Well, that must be how he sees it. However, that is ignorant of their true nature. If these people attack others with no remorse, 
Why would they make a teacher and an artist apologize? Could a murder truly have been enacted by the same group? If this Sukumura incident was not the Phantom Thieves, if they only changed the hearts of criminals, then even though they can't be considered innocent, perhaps my goals are not so different from theirs. Are you a fanboy? <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. Ever since the first time we met, I feel as though I could tell you anything during our conversations. Hey, we got a link. All right. Oh, that reminds me. I've been invited to a panel at Shujin Academy and... Ah, oh, wait. I'm sure you know that already. Considering it's such a good opportunity, I've decided to accept the offer. Thank you for the coffee. It was delicious. Glad you liked it. I'm happy I could see you. I'll be going now. Yeah, Akechi obviously knows something's up. <laughs> what was going on about some real complicated stuff? It's probably a good bit smarter than you, huh? Oh, I didn't notice I'd gotten a response from Akechi kun. He accepted the lecture invitation. Well done. Thank you. First step's done at least. Either way, the real issue is what we do next. Lecture is on the afternoon of the second day, yes? Wait, you're coming to our school festival? It's during my exam week, so I'll be able to go in the afternoon. You want to come fu to Futaba? Come on, it'll be fun! Seriously? I don't see why not. We should all walk around together tomorrow. At a time like this? It's a perfect chance for us to relax, though. Are you, um, are you sure you're okay? This seems a little soon. I am, thank you. I've just always dreamed of walking around the school festival with friends. Suppose if you say it like that, I can resign myself to enjoying our time there, too. Thanks, Haru. It's my pleasure. Can we do stuff tonight, or...? Okay, we can do stuff today. Uh, let's get you out of here. Exceptional people resonate with each other. Get out of here. You freaking pretentious... Ugh. Hey. Let's call Kawakami. Make sure you close up. I'm gonna... Hi. I'm gonna take a quick break again. Let's do it. Actually, not a very quick break. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'm not even gonna take a break, really. 